Here's another look at Washington, where the 4th of July celebrations are in full swing. Marching bands, floats, and the military are making their way down Constitution Avenue. Later, U.S. President Donald Trump is promising the show of a lifetime. We've connected with two people who are at the parade, Janine Krippner and performer Emma G. Emma sang at the event, including one of her own compositions, and they join me now. So let's begin with why you're there. Wh what drew you to this parade, Emma? Uh, well, it, I was actually contacted uh, by the city itself to uh, perform. Uh, as I've been living here for the last four years, and um, I, I write music that's very much about equality, very much about empowerment, very much about the community. And uh, so they felt, felt that it was appropriate for me to thankfully take part in, you know, leveling the playing field a little bit this year. And Janine, why are you there? I'm here to support Emma um, and what Emma is standing for. She's here about peace, equality, having respect for each other, diversity. And that's a lot of what I saw here today in the parade. And so I understand, are you both from New Zealand? We yes. are. You are. Okay, so you're living there. You're both from New Zealand, so you're taking in the festivities. How would you describe what you've what you've seen? Today, uh, it's been wonderful. I mean, so I was I was born in New Zealand, yes, but uh, my mother is American, and so um, I've been here for four years now, and uh, it's been interesting. I mean, today there was you know obviously a lot of just uh, being proud of of being of what it means to be American, what it means to live in America and what America stands for as a, as a country for everybody uh, that resides in Washington, D.C. and travels to Washington, D.C. And yeah, so it's, there's a lot of positivity in the air today. But I think what you are suggesting, uh, Emma, and maybe Janine, you want to weigh in here, is that the political context right now is not necessarily a country where everybody feels welcome, right? That's correct. Um, especially being someone here on a visa, there are, you know, obvious complications with that. And I think that's where it's more important to come out here and be here for unity and peace and respect and compassion and kindness. And, and you know, to fight back with love. And because at the end of the day, that's everybody's superpower, right? Is to choose that positive, you know, higher self and, and lead with love. And Emma G, you had the opportunity to perform two songs uh, earlier at the parade. Tell us about the messaging behind the songs. What was it like to perform? So the first song that I sang was an original composition called um, Together We Rise, which is uh, going to be released next month. Um, and it's a song that I wrote about teamwork, about community, about equality, about empowerment, um, and and doing it, you know, succeeding through, through community and through diversity. Uh, and then the second song I chose was Katy Perry's Firework, which again, it's about celebrating equality, celebrating uh, your differences, letting your free flag fly and um, being proud about that, you know? And, and Janine, this parade is different than Trump's parade that will be held a little later today, right? So tell me about, from what I understand, you both are not going to when he speaks later at the Lincoln Memorial. No, nope, shaking your head. Okay, so so tell me why you're not going. Uh, fundamentally, with what we do, I'm a scientist, a volcanologist. Emma is a musician. We stand for being good to people, being respectful, um, appreciating each other's differences, appreciating where we come from helping each other out. And for us, this parade this morning and early afternoon was about that. And so we're going to stick with what stands for those things. And Emma G, uh, you really shook your head when I said that. There's no way you're going anywhere near Trump's uh, speech tonight. Tell no, me why. I, I mean, so there, there were a lot of Trump supporters here today. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, absolutely, um, we, we celebrate everybody here. But I'm not going to put myself in a situation that outwardly celebrates hatred or, um, you know, division. And I feel like the, um, the event this evening is going to be very much about, you know, supporting some ideals that I just cannot uh, even, even, even fathom, let alone be okay with. And what about yeah. what about the presence of uh, you know um, military tanks? Uh, there's going to be a, a flyover of some bombers. Uh, w what do you make of that, uh, Janine or Emma G? 
Um, well, being from New Zealand, uh, we're a pretty peaceful na uh, nation and country. It's it's a bit intimidating for me. I'm sure there are a lot of people here who would disagree, but um, for me, that's not what today is about. Clearly, we should be appreciating those people who serve um, and who work very hard to keep other people safe. But I'm not sure that it's necessarily what today should be standing for. Emma G? I, yeah, I 100% agree with what Janine's saying. I think, you know, in a, in a country that has such a high... Um, like it has history with military, absolutely we should be celebrating that um, because they fought for our freedoms. But um, I don't think that with today's political climate, it's appropriate to be waving that mm -hmm. in everybody's faces mm -hmm. when things are so tumultuous at the moment. Um, and again, we, I mean, we've, you know, <laughs> there have been so many wars about um, equality and about um, justice and about freedom for people. Um, and there are so many people still fighting now. I don't understand why it's important to okay. sort of snub everybody's noses in it with some tanks. You know, it yeah. just it it just it's a little bit um, rude and disrespectful. And I, and I just wonder what Janine, what you think, or what either of you think in terms of uh, you know, of the Fourth of July celebrates is for, for the people. There are there are many good reasons to be. Proud Americans, but there are certain issues right now that some Americans have pointed out is 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 shameful. Like children living in uh, cages without um, being washed or having showers or being bathed for weeks on end. I mean, is do you have a moment where you reflect on that and say, there's there is something wrong with certain aspects of what's happening in American society? There are a lot of people in a state of fear, in a state of pain, in a state of neglect right now. Um, it's heartbreaking to watch, especially living here in DC. Um, there's something we can all do, and I think not only is it a good time to reflect what is going on, but to reflect on how we can empower ourselves to be part of the solution. Mm -hmm. And, and Emma G, let's just la end on a note on why it is that you're there today why you're proud and why this is a special day for you and what are you going to do for the rest of the afternoon uh well yes I, i'm very humbled to be here very proud to be uh, performing in the fourth of july parade today um the reasons being is that we're all human and i feel like today is a celebration of that humanity that america has shown for the past many decades um you know about how we are all one and all in this together usa is great because of its people um, so we plan to celebrate for the rest of the day with people uh, that, that share our diversity, share our beliefs, share our love for unity. Uh, we're going to be eating some delicious food and New Zealand uh, food, New Zealand food uh, <laughs> at a friend's uh, barbecue. And then I think we're going to come back in and watch the 4th of July fireworks display. All right. Well, <laughs> enjoy uh, your 4th of July festivities. Good to talk to you both. Thank you both very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Emma Bye. G. Emma G. and Janine Kribner in Washington, D.C.